Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are hearing my voice or seeing my face. Pajama Grandma Sharon Horn Elstrom here, and I want to talk a little bit about energy. Now, today I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but I still have lots of energy. How can that be, you ask? I got a stuffy nose, a cold, an itchy, scratchy throat. I'm in my cozy, warm flannel pajamas. They're a little wild, but they keep me warm and cozy when I'm not feeling good. I've got a cup of tea the size of my head. It's actually I think bigger than my head. Without my hair, it's definitely bigger than my head. But it's hot lemon tea, lemon organic green tea, to help clear my throat and make it not so scratchy, itchy, and make my eyes not water so much. What's something else that I do to get energy? What do you do to get energy? The energy you need to get you through your day. I know that the young people these days, now I'm old, I'm a pajama grandma, right? So I stay away from it, but they drink a lot of these sugary energy drinks things that not only rot their teeth i think they rot their brain as well and they give them this false sense of massive canned caffeine influx and they're all got in the guise of being um vitamins but <laughs> not in a good way or all natural no way so what do i do i drink things like this terribly ground it's like army green colored drink and what it is something i got from my mom because my mom's all into nutrition and she's She's 81 years old. She looks fabulous. So I like to listen to her when it comes to nutritional things. And she does a lot of research and a lot of, she spends a lot of time and energy researching different things. So when she went down to Texas, she gave me some products that I'm trying. I'm not pushing any products. I'm just saying this is a red drink for energy or not for energy, but just for nutrients and, and the red blend things you need. This is a green one, a primal plants one. This is an energy one. This is actually an energizing berry drink. That I do some of those sometimes, just a little energizing berry. And then, of course, a prebiotic to help our digestive system. Because if our digestive system is slow, all of us is slow. So I do that. And then the other thing she just gave me I've never even heard of is like adding oxygen to your water. So you add 15 drops of oxygen to 8 ounces of water. And I don't know what it's supposed to do. But apparently it is supposed to make you feel better and give you energy. And we all need energy to get about our day. So, my question for you, I also drink a lot of coffee, but not today. Today I'm drinking no coffee, just my energy drinks, and or my, my health nutrition drinks, my water, my tea, and things to try to get this yuckiness out of my body. It's the season. It's just the season, and we get exposed to germs and situations, and we get run down, and we let ourselves, you know, get sicker and sicker and colds, and I try to battle it with taking the minimum of cold medicine I, I don't know if it helps me or not. I think sometimes, yeah, it masks the symptoms, but sometimes it makes it, it seem, you know, cold lasts for two weeks. It's just going to last for two weeks. So as I'm heading into the end of the first week, I know it's going to get better. And I also know that if I drink a lot of fluids and I drink and take care of myself, it will help me keep my energy up. So what do you do to keep your energy up? What do you do for energy? Share in the comments below because this pajama grandma would love to know. Have an awesome day. Bye.